Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. We got a short style video for you tonight. We've got three packs of Heritage that all three have the security tag in. So we're going to test the security tag theory on our Heritage. I just picked these up at Walmart just a little bit ago. And then we have a blaster of Topps Chrome that we're going to break. It'll be our second blaster that we've broken on the channel. And in fact, um, Tops today on tops.com, they re um, listed the Tops Chrome uh, hobby boxes, hobby light boxes, and I think they even listed a hobby case box, um, which includes the silver packs. So I don't know if they're in, they've reprinted them, if they just had a bunch laying around, or if this was like a second release for um, Tops Chrome. But there, as many people know, there was a big disaster around Tops Chrome being that the short prints weren't included in hobby boxes and uh, jumbos also, I believe. That's why the silver packs were distributed out. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, let's go ahead and start with Heritage. Like I said, uh, you know my feelings on Heritage. It hasn't been the best product for me this year, but these were over my local Walmart. I was actually there looking for archives and didn't get it, but I saw these had security tags in them. So usually when you find security tags, you find better cards. So we're going to test that theory. There's a Lance Lynn, Gary Sanchez, Rowdy Tellez, Yandy Diaz, Matt Chapman, Sammy Long, Jazz Chisholm, there's Solaris Home Run, Matt Manning, Reese Hoskins, Trevor Rogers, and it looks like that first pack did not have anything super special. I didn't notice any short prints in there either. Um, short prints are the higher numbers. Uh, doesn't look like it, so no. So I guess the security tag feature doesn't always work. Okay, let's try pack two. I mean, I would love to pull just one auto out of Heritage this year. I mean, I would be, I'd just be happy. I don't even, at this point, I don't even care who it is. Just be happy to see an autograph. Brian De La Cruz, rookie card, Lindor, Riley, game one, walk-off single. There's an Ernie Clement rookie, Robbie Grossman, Brian Reynolds, Christian Walker, Yandy Hernandez, Hunter Renfro, there's a President Nixon sworn in for second term flashbacks. That's an insert card. We'll set that aside. Naylor and Dansby Swanson with a busted corner. So not really a whole lot out of there. Just more cards for the base set. Hopefully we can finish that base set. Um, this Friday we are going to be breaking open a box of 1992 Topps Series 1 Stadium Club. So you might want to come check that out. It's going to be on our Friday Night Live. We'll probably try to do it around 8, 8.30, somewhere around in there. So uh, come on in to the live, and we'll be watching the World Series and watch some baseball. We'll rip some cards, have a lot of fun. So hopefully we'll find some nice stuff in there as we're striking out. Strike two. We're 0-2 right now on Heritage. Oh, did I see something... Uh, there's something different there. Maybe we maybe we got lucky here. Josh Donaldson, who honestly never got the bat off his shoulders for the Yankees. It's really disappointed in the Yankees. I thought they would do more, but Altuve and the Astros put it to him. There's an O'Neill Cruz rookie card. That's nice. We'll set that there. Max Freed, Luis Robert. That's not a rookie card. We have a then and now. Daryl Evans and Juan Soto. I wish that this would have been an auto. That would have been nice. I don't even know if that is an auto opportunity. But that would have been nice. There is a rookie outfielders. That is just a regular numbered card. James McCann and Shane Bieber. So really just the nicest card out of there. Those three packs was the O'Neill Cruz. Dist. Still haven't pulled... Um, I don't believe I've pulled Wander Franco. I don't think so. I'd have to go back and look in the binder to see. But I don't believe I've pulled his card. I actually thought we were going to get something out of that one. But 
Wah, wah, wah. Nothing. So our run on Heritage being a disaster continues as we struck out on three fat packs. So hopefully Topps Chrome, this blaster I got today, actually got this at Target today. Hopefully this one will make up for that as I need to get a knife out so I can cut the box and we can get into this one. So hopefully, hoping for a good World Series this year. Uh, I don't know if the Astros are ever going to lose a game again. They haven't lost since like the beginning of October. But the Phillies seem to be kind of the, the hot team right now. And usually the hot team in the playoffs always kind of wreaks havoc. So I would at least like to see a – I would love to see a seven-game series. But I don't know if we're going to get that. So, all right, Tops Chrome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs in Tops Chrome. And we are hoping for something, something decent in here to make up, at least make up for the night. Brian Anderson, we get a Vlad uh, Classics. That's a nice card. Set that there. Uh, Willie Contreras and Tristan McKenzie in that um, that SEPA parallel. So we get two of those and two pinks. And a nice little Vlad to pick up to start. George Springer. Max Free. There's a Freddie Freeman, 87. And Luis Gill. Uh, I believe I pulled that Freeman in the last blaster box that I did. And also this week, Topps Update is releasing, so looking forward to that. I'm going to try to get a couple boxes, and we'll rip one on here, and then we'll do our normal one pack at a time we do also. Uh, Uraeus, that's the pink parallel. So looking forward to that for sure. Topps Update should be a pretty good box, pretty good set. It's a 330-card set. Going to have a lot of rookies in there. Miguel Cabrera, Seth Beer, and Francisco Lindor. Uh, J-Rod's in there, Bobby Witt, uh, Seiya Suzuki, there's uh, C.J. Abrams. There's going to be some really nice cards, some really good chase cards in there. There's a Bregman and the Brian De La Cruz Sipa rookie. That's not too bad, but non-numbered. It's just a parallel. So we've seen two the two Sipas. And just one pink so far. I've not seen anything numbered or any autos, but you know, that's just been my luck lately. There's a Bruhan 87. That's non numbered. That's just kind of been my luck lately. I haven't really, um, really, the last hit that I pulled was that Spencer Torkelson short print. And so we're hoping that we can get something nice. Bryce Harper. There's an Ernie Clement uh, refractor style. Smith and JT Rilamuto pink parallel. So our last pack for tonight, Topps Chrome. Come on, Topps Chrome. Come on. Zach Thompson and Trevor Rogers. So not a whole lot there. Um, we'll just keep trying to build that base set, really. Uh, we did get a nice new classics, Vlad Jr. It's a nice card. Uh, just an insert. Too bad it wasn't an auto. That would have been a really nice one. Uh, and then out of Heritage, we did get the O'Neill Cruz rookie card. Looks nice. And we got a couple inserts here. Another flashbacks and a then and now with Juan Soto and Daryl Evans. So that's not too bad. We got a bunch of... Bunch of heritage here for the for the base and a bunch of chrome for the base. So I still have one more chrome blaster to go. Uh, I did buy a couple, like I said, I did buy a couple hobby boxes or hobby light boxes for Topps Chrome. So we'll rip one on here and we'll do our one pack over on TikTok and on here. And hopefully we'll get some Topps update as well and be able to do the same thing. So I uh, appreciate everybody watching tonight's video. 
And I know it's a Wednesday night video. I don't always upload on Wednesdays, but try to upload as much as possible. And I really appreciate everybody watching the videos. So as always, I uh, hope everyone has a great week and thanks for stopping by.